Here is an explanation for the answer to final exam, question number 79. In Everyday Math Demystified, please see page 250. This refers to the second edition of the book, Everyday Math Demystified. In the Roman numeration system, what symbol represents the hexadecimal quantity 10? Well, before we get into that, let's remember exactly what the hexadecimal system is. When we have a sequence of digits in hexadecimal, the right hand most digit represents the ones place or 16 to the zeroth power. Then we get to the 16's place. Now by 16 we mean that's in, de in the decimal system, what we ordinarily think of 16. 16 to the 1. Here we get 16 times 16. That turns out to be the 256's place. That's 16 squared. The next one is 16 cubed, or 256 times 16. That works out to 4,096 uh, 4, is placed. Well, we've got a simple situation here because we only have two digits to deal with, 1 and 0. The hexadecimal one zero is one times sixteen plus zero times one. So what we end up with here is we're actually dealing with the decimal number sixteen. Well now we can convert that to Roman numerals. The decimal number sixteen. Well, remember that in Roman numerals, X symbolizes 10, V symbolizes 5, and I symbolizes 1. So if we add 10 plus 5 plus 1, we get 16. Well, is that convenient or what? Decimal 16 equals 10 plus 1 plus 5, so in Roman numerals we get x. Ten plus five plus one x v i. So that is the decimal number sixteen, which is the hexadecimal quantity one zero. Well, we look in our choices here, and that is choice D. The hexadecimal one zero equals the Roman XVI.